All right, so hello. Before we get started, we give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh. We give double honors to the apostles, elders, and bishops, and great millstones, and the ones who taught them for teaching us and ruling well. Peace and blessings to Akion, who's at home, as the elect striving for perfection and that crown of righteousness by being obedient to what's written inside these scriptures. We are the Hebrew Israelites. I hear GMS Houston, the church, and we are here to bring out the truth. All right, bring out the, 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 the things that were written and what's hidden in these scriptures from, from, from normal men. But we're here to prophesy the downfall of America, which is referred to in these scriptures as Babylon the Great. We are here to do the, the words of um, will. All right, whatever he's told us to do, all right, we're going to be doing it as he's all, as we've always been doing it. Because the prophets of old are still standing in that lot right now, that are going out on the highways and byways, preaching and teaching to the lost tribes of the, uh, of the house of Israel, which is um, composed of the Negroes, Hispanic, Native American Indians that are on this earth right now, man. And a sunken place full of these curses being stepped on right now by these other heathen nations, starting with the Edomites, the self-proclaimed white, all right, and the other, the other 16 nations, you know, that you see walking around here lost and, and doing dumb and stinky-ass shit, okay? So we are here to prophesy the end of this world in which we're in, and you see, if you if you pay attention, just a little bit, you'll see that, that we are at the end of this world. This thing is not getting no better, no time soon, okay? Every every day it's another crack inside the infrastructure, another crack inside the system, whether it's the economic system, political system, okay, um, or, or any social system, okay? You see, and this place is falling apart and it's, it's starting to, to, to fall all around us and everything, man. Right. But if uh, Brother Williams, uh, we'll drop it off with that, uh, if Brother's in heaven, we'll start off with that Jeremiah 28 and 8. Uh, Jeremiah 28 and verse 8, right? It says, the prophets that have been before me That's and right. before thee. Right, so the prophets that have been before me, okay? It's nothing new to have prophets coming, you know, and, and speaking these words and everything, man. These words of, of, um, of, of clarity, of truth, ultimately, man, of salvation, of redemption, of repentance, man. These things are written inside the Bible, okay? And people like to say, man, we're not living in biblical times now. We're living in biblical times right now. The, Bible, the biblical times weren't just the times that were inside the, the Bible. The Bible also is prophetic. It also talks about the times of future events, things that are going to happen and everything, right. all right? So these things are, 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 I mean, the times in which we live in it are biblical times, man. All right, and the mighty men of old are standing back in their lot because the spirits of the prophets are searching to the prophets. So they're standing back in their lot prophesying about the downfall of this place in which we live. Got it. This is uh, Jeremiah 28 and verse 8. It says, The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. Right, man. War, evils, and pestilence, man. So we are here to give you forewarning of what's getting ready to happen. And being preachers of righteousness as Moses, Moses as Noah was. Like, all right? So Moses was a preacher of righteousness. He was warned of the things that were going to happen from our power of Yahweh. All right? And he moved with fear. Okay? He did what he was supposed to do, been obedient. It was to the saving of his household, man. All right? Brother, you got that? This is Amos chapter 3 and verse 6. Shall a trumpet be blown in the city? And the people not be afraid. So shall the trumpet be blown. The, voice, the voices that you hear right now are symbolic to trumpets being blown. All right, alerts, all right, alarms, and everything being blown right now on the face of this earth, saying that this is the end. Okay, this is the end of this place in which we living in. The wicked, the wicked deeds of Esau Edom has it's been fulfilled. He's polluted this whole entire earth. All right, he's polluted the, um, the Israelites and everything. The two thirds of them. All right, the, and the, the rest of the people. Right. All right, so man, it's it's the end. The end is going to come now because the prophets are back out here on the lot prophesying about th this truth, this gospel. All right, the words of the Lord, man. Ultimately, who is Yahweh's side? Okay, shining that light. Because you have said, uh, said, uh, uh, the, shall a trumpet be blown? What's that trumpet? Like going into the prophets? They're blowing that trumpet. This is uh, Isaiah 58 verse one. It says, cry aloud. Spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet, and show my people their transgression. Like right. he had went into, hey, it, he has, Esau has not only has polluted the land, but he has polluted the people. Okay, hey, starting with uh, uh, Jake, so-called Negro Latinos and Native Americans. That's why I say, tell my, 
show my people their transgressions. How do we show them? By hey, giving you the truth, telling you that you have a power, telling you to turn back to your lost days and commandments. Okay, lost days and commandments. Right. It says in the house of Jacob their sins. Okay, and they go back to uh, Jacob and Israel, which again is so far they go back to the commandments. It says to cry loud. Hey, regardless if they want to hear or forbear, you tell them anyway. Right. Okay, he says, hey, so on to get to the Hey, we're supposed to hey, get that warning, regardless of whether you want to hear it or not. But you got it, huh? That's right, man. Give them warning, man, regardless of what they want to hear or not. Ultimately, we're purveying the message of the album. We're his instruments right now, man. All right, so he's blowing his, he put his spirit inside of us that we're telling these people and giving them foreknowledge of what's going to happen if they don't get right, man, the house of Israel. What's going to happen in, in the coming days, man? Coming destruction. Scripture's giving us things to look for and how we to measure the time so we'll know that we're living in those times that it's getting, getting ready to be nothing but death and destruction on the face of this earth, man. All right? And it's going to be the Lord who's issuing it out, man. And he's, he's told us what he's going to do. So we're just giving it back to you, man. All right. I'm talking to real quick, because like you were talking before we started, uh, started going live. What we talking about? The migrants. Okay, in New York, we said we're spreading to Chicago. Okay, this is what's going to happen, man. So when you read in the scriptures, you talk when you see sedition among people, when you see that it's a Jacob trouble, things like that. Right. Hey, these women are going to be raped. Okay. They said the main thing what they're doing out there in New York, talking about the migrants, they're going after people that have businesses, man. All they know is to uh, uh, to be crooks. Okay. They don't know a way of uh, of uh, so-called the right way. They they have not lawless people. So what do they do when they come out here? They show, they're going straight up against the law that you think uh, these songs got set up. They're going against it. Okay? And they're out there. What are they doing? they attacking these people, man. Right. Okay? And now we see, and, and that, that's the warning that we're giving. Okay? We're living in dangerous times. Man. We're, we're, we're at the end. Right. Okay? Because these things are supposed to happen in the scripture. That these things are going to happen before you have a shot return. So if you like it, to get information, that's secret information, man. You're getting things... Um, told to you that haven't happened yet so that you can be prepared or prepare yourself and get cleansed with this word ultimately so you can be protected all right before these things happen there's civil unrest the brothers going into it it's getting ready to be civil unrest everywhere and we've seen the, um what they did yesterday with um uh, cutting off the communications and everything hey, right, right. all right you've seen what type of the level of they are man they're getting ready to have civil unrest and you won't be able to call for help nobody all right you won't be able to call your uncle them your cousins them you know, your friends and them, your mama and them, nobody, man. The, the laws and nobody, man. All right? You're going to be on your own in that day because you didn't hearken to the words of the Lord. You didn't hearken to the prophets ultimately, man. All right? So, man, these are all signs that the Lord warned us about to let us know, like, what time that we're living in right now, man. What What is the age in which we're living in? Okay? Seeing these people, seeing our people in that messed up um, estate that they're in, their mind completely gone. Okay? We understand that, man. These, these curses that are, are, are put upon us identify us as the, um, the, the the Israelites, man. All right, so man, hey, and in the time in which we're living in, it's 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 evident who the players are on the world stage, man. You can tell who Esau Edom is by what he's doing through his history, raping, murdering, and killing all through history. You can tell these Israelites because they're, they'll be in a destroyed state, and our people are fucking destroyed out here, man. All right. Amos chapter 3 and 6. Shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid? Shall there be evil in the city and the Lord have not done it? Right. So, uh, should you not be afraid, man? When you hear the voice of the Lord, it should put fear inside your heart, man. All right. The Lord is very faithful and true to what he said he was going to do. We're evidence of that from being once in that dead like a state, being resurrected with his, with the spirit of him being inside of us, standing out here prophesying, man. These things are written inside the scripture, man. All right, that we'll be standing back up on our feet after a few days, and we'll be witnessing out here to the nation. Okay, we'll be telling the people who they are and what they are, and what's going to happen if they don't get their asses right, man. Right. Okay? So, man, it's a fearful thing, man. In the book of uh, Nahum, I believe this book. It's Nahum 3, it says, I heard that voice from the book of right. You know? Uh, can I get a preset? Yeah. This is Isaiah chapter 45 and verse 7. It says, I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things. So just to land back off of what was read in Amos, the third chapter, in the sixth verse, the Lord is the cause of these evils increasing in the earth. No, that was the that's right, that's right, that's right. 
Yeah, the Lord is in control of, of the, the good and the evil. It's a balance with the Heavenly Father, man. So whenever you see things, the evils, especially the evils increasing, that's an indication that we're in the last days. But like it says in the book of Matthew, the love of many are going to wax cold. So evils are going to be increased. People are, are getting more cold-hearted. You know, like with the migrant things, man. people are really, their patience has already been gone, but now right. you're starting to see, you know, that griminess and that true cold heart nature that's that's really inside of these people, right. man. But that's a sign that, hey, the Lord is in control of that, man. That's right, man. It's a very fearful thing to fall into the hands of the Lord, man. The Lord is in control of that. And he said, man, at this point in time which we're living in, man, he's wanting death and destruction to fall on the house of the sinner, on the house of the, the unbeliever. On these heathen out here, man, it's time for them to pay for the crimes in which they've been committing all these times on the face of this earth, man. All right, because this is the time that, man, it's um, deliverance is coming for the elect. Okay, he's coming to cleanse and judge this place with righteousness. So all those who ain't operating in righteousness, and they're going to get hit with the sword, man. All right? And uh, I, I have this one right quick because it's a, the words of the Lord should be fearful unto you, man. As like when you were a child and you heard your, uh, your your parent or somebody they yell at you and say, "Boy, you better do this, that, and the third. You stop what you was doing at, the, at that at that moment in time and did exactly what they told you to do. All right, because the consequences was they said, "Boy, you don't do this, that, and the third. I'm getting there and whoop your ass right. and everything, man. Well, you gonna get yourself a whoop. So man, you move from fear because you understood the consequences of what's gonna happen, man. And these prophets have been given that vision, been given that faith." Ultimately, to understand that, man, the Lord is going to make due to what he said he was going to do. All right, so they're moving with that type of fear. They're moving with that type of energy right now on the face of this earth. All right, separating themselves from this world in which we're in, man. And making themselves a living sacrifice so we could be holy and accepted, you know, offering to the Lord when he returns, man. All right, because we don't want none of that, that smoke that's coming down the line. Right, right. It's uh, Habakkuk 3 in verse 2. It says, O oh Lord, how have I seen you on shine? I have heard thy speech. It was afraid. It says, Oh Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, re revive thy work in the midst of the years, in the midst of the years, make known and read, remember mercy. That's right. So he said, Man, I heard that voice and I was afraid. Right. You know, and as the Lord is doing his work, which are these prophets, man, these, proph these prophecies being fulfilled and everything. That's the works that's been done through the midst of these years and everything. And uh, he's actually he said, Lord, remember mercy, man. Remember, remember this mercy. You know, remember me. You know, at the end of the day, I want to show me some mercy during this time when everything is, is going to shit. All right, everything is is falling apart out here, man. All this famine, all this death and destruction, these newly created creatures hopping out of everywhere, man. All right, all these people being plagued with demons. All right, operating in that time frame. You got a household of, of people that's living within you, of, with you. You want you want protection. You want mercy in these days, these dark times, which the scripture talks about. Which ultimately is that time of none other, man. All right? Going into Jacob's trouble. Yeah, I asked something yeah. real quick. Yeah, it said, man, that's you, bro. He's been pursuing this, uh, this judgment. This is uh, Zephaniah 3 and 5. It says, the just Lord, the how about you, all shine, is in the midst thereof. Right. He will do no, he will not do iniquity. Every morning, do it, he brings his judgment to life. Hey, so when you see a, hey, hey, a infant, you know, uh, dying suddenly, you know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 anybody, anybody uh, being put to death for that matter. Like the scripture says, whosoever bears being innocent. Okay? Hey, all of us have, have seen it. Okay? It's a, it's, a, it's a just judgment. It says, he fell it not, but the unjust know it no shame. You see, hey, you will see these judgments. See, that's what makes us move in fear, man, because we understand the true nature of the most high, man. But two thirds of our people in these other nations, okay, they don't understand that. Okay, they still go on a, as a uh, day to day life, okay, and the most high is showing his judgments, but you ignore it and it's just like ain't nothing happening. Yeah. You see? Yeah, exactly. Like I say, they don't they know no shame. No. Yeah. No shame. So you you thinking that the God is with you or something right. because you got a house or something or right. you, you got a promotion on your bullshit ass job, you employee of the month. You know, at McDonald's or some shit, you're like, man, the Lord is working with me. Yeah, I'm blessed. You know, I'm, I'm blessed, blessed y'all. I'm blessed. You know, you done made a whole soundtrack about spinning the fucking block, man. Hey, I want to thank God first and everything, man. You're a wicked ass dude, man. All right? And those things that you rap about are going to fall upon your house, man. This is goes in two. This is Ecclesiastes chapter 8 and verse 11. Because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily, 
Therefore, the heart of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil. So, man, they're going to continue in their unrighteousness and their wickedness. That All that savagery that you see on the day to day. All right, all that hypersexuality, these women can't stop working and shit, man. They're going to continue doing that because that sentence is not executed just at that point. And that's the brother that brought in that earlier scripture. They don't understand the, the, the judgment of the Lord. It's the Lord that's putting out the judgment on the face of this earth, man. All right? Verse 12. Though a sinner do evil in hundred times, and his days be prolonged, yet surely I know that it shall be well with them that fear the Most High, which fear before him. Right, man. But yet surely I know that it shall be well with them that fear the Most High, which fear before him, man. So these, 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 uh, these evildoers, man, that are sinning evilly, are evil all the time, man, just committing iniquity and transgressions, man. The Lord's got judgment for them, man. All right, but those who fear the Lord, they're going to remove themselves from that unrighteous path, okay? Uh, 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 away from all that that, uh, that that doing wicked and shit like that. Following after the, the ways of the world, man. All right, it should be well with them. Verse 13, but it shall not be well with the wicked. Right. Neither shall he prolong his days, which are as a shadow, because he fears not the because he feareth not before the Most High. That's right, man. It's a graven mistake, all right? Not to fear the Most High, the creator of the heavens and earth, man. All right? The one who formed you ultimately, man. It, it's a grave mistake to think that you can go about your, this life thinking that it's this YOLO, all right? Or it's, it's uh, I'm self-made or something like that, man. All right? You should fear Yahweh, man. It's, it's actually, it's a level of stupidity to think that there's not a higher power that's operating in all these things in this earth, man. All right? Uh, Ecclesiastes 9 and verse 12. It says, For man also knoweth not his time, right. as the fishes that are taken in the evil net. It says, And as the birds that are caught in the snare, so are the sons of men snared in evil time, in an evil time, when it falleth suddenly upon them. Hey, you see, because they're not watching, they're not paying attention, they're not moving in fear, like the scripture brothers just brought out. Hey, the scripture that I have brought up, he said, the most I do, he, does, he will not do iniquity. Okay, you're going to get paid for that, 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 that sin that you commit. Hey, the most I don't thank you for that, man. Right. That's if you're not moving in fear. You see? Hey, that, like the scripture say, that's the beginning of wisdom. When you move the fear of the most high, that's the beginning of wisdom, man. Right. Hey, because that's what, hey, we understand that, okay, damn, I understand, okay, that's I understand why he got uh, taken out. Because yeah. he said, oh, well, I ain't doing that shit. You right. know what I'm saying? I, hey, I'm, I'm moving in fear. See, it said it should go well with them that move in fear. But somebody that's not paying attention, like the scripture say, you're going to get caught like a thief in the night. Right. You get like a, a fist that's taken all of a sudden. Hey, a, a bird caught, caught in the snap all of a sudden. It's going to be, hey, all of a sudden this is going to happen. Hey, it reminds me of uh, that Tesla incident again. Or any, uh, 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 anything for that matter, right? With somebody being uh, uh, taken out just like that. They weren't expecting that. Hey, when they, when they uh, woke up that morning, you know what I'm saying? When he woke up that morning, he wasn't expecting hey, 8 o'clock that night that he was going to get in an accident and that car was going to catch fire, man. Right. And he going to be screaming for it before his fight until he had no breath left. He wasn't thinking that. Right. But see, that's the power that you're dealing with. Hey, he set that up. Hey, before you even came in this this coordination, it was already set. You see? You got it, right? That punishment, man. Right. That's absolutely right. And this is, once again, while we out here, Warning the people, man. Right. Letting the people know about what's hidden inside these scriptures. Let you know that, man, you're going to have to pay for the crimes that you commit. The crimes I'm speaking of is the, the lost and Jesus commandments that was only given to the house of Israel, man. You're going to have to pay for that, man. All right? So you're not just living out here free, freely and everything, man. We've spoken unto you. So now, man, you're going to be judged by these very same words in which we're speaking unto you, man. Giving you warning about which is these words, which is these scriptures. Okay? And this, this is up with you, no, no, no. And it's ultimately love, man. And we're showing you love at the end of the day, letting you know that, no, you don't want to do that. You want to get away from that because it's definitely instruction at the end of that road. Thus say the Lord. All right? This is uh, the book of John 15 and 22. It says, if I had not come and spoken unto them, they had not had sin. Okay? So now the men of the Lord are on the highways and byways everywhere, man. Putting up videos on the internet. You can see us everywhere. All right? And that's why the scripture says that, um, once this truth goes out, then the end of the world comes. Because now you, you know, you notice that you are operating in sin, and you're, you 
now you you willfully just doing it. All right, you like what's it? I, you know, if that's the truth, then I'll you know I'll, I'll I'll be wrong at the end of the day. I'm just gonna stay in my filth and my bullshit. You know, that's what the scriptures say. Let the filthy remain filthy. Of me, man. We're only out here for the elect of the house of Israel. We're not out here for all these two third niggas that are happy with this filthy ass environment in which we live in. They're happy being a prisoner inside of hell, man. Who wants to be the biggest prisoner or the most richest prisoner inside of hell? That, that the hell with all this shit, man. All right? This is a Proverbs 1 and verse 23. It said, Turn you at my reproof. Behold, I pour out my spirit unto you. I make known my words unto you. It says, Because I have called and he refused, I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded. Hey, that's talking about, hey, two thirds of our people, man. Hey, we could be out here all night long, man. Again, if it's for you, if you got the ears to hear, you're going to hear it. If you got the eyes to see, you, hey, the most high gave you those spiritual eyes to see, then you'll see it. But hey, this is like the one that had went into. This is the ultimate love. The most high is giving you a chance. Right. He's giving you the warning. You can't say that you didn't have no that you didn't uh, get a warning. Like like the brother said, if I were you in the cave, then you would have had a cloak for your sin. Now that we are here, the most I have sent his men, now you have no cloak for your sin. Right. Yeah, brother, like your brother just said, I'm gonna finish that precept. Uh at the end of it, it says John 15 and 22. It says, if I had not come and spoken unto them, they had not had sin, but now they have no cloak for their sin, man. All right, there's nothing, no covering, right. nothing that's going to be like, oh, I didn't know. Nah, you're going to know, man. You're going to know exactly why the Lord is, is having your dogs eaten by a pack of wild animals, man, in that day. Right. You, 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 you threw these words behind you, all right, and you mocked the prophets as well, man, right. all right? This is Second Chronicles chapter 36 and verse 15. Right. And the Lord God of their fathers sent to them by his messenger, rising up be times and sending and in Amos, the scriptures tell you who the messengers are. They're the prophets. And it says, the messengers is also referred to as angels. All right, angels of the Lord. The messengers that you see right now are angels of the Lord, man, on earth. All right, relating a message from my heavenly father. All right, letting you know before times, I mean, before time, ancient times, before things happen on the face of the earth, before things get hectic, letting you know before that definite um, um, destruction and calamities happen. You got it, man. Yeah, he's going back to go to back to that uh, Proverbs uh, 1. Right. When he says he's reaching out his own, but his hand to right. that's going into the prophets. What the right. brother's going into. Right. Right. It says, <clears throat> rising up, be times, and sending. So, hey, be times is early. Yeah. And going into before destruction comes or before judgment comes. The Lord reveals his secrets unto the servants, the prophets. So before anything takes place on the earth, you know, especially like drastically in, in judgment, the prophets are going to give a warning before it happens. You know, especially to the to the ones who the Lord is, is, is dealing with, man, who this message is sent to, the nation of Israel, because everything according to salvation has, you know, everything to do with us, that nation of people. Then it says... Because he had compassion on his people, which are the Israelites, and on his dwelling place. So whenever the prophets are out giving warnings and prophesying because they were sent by the Heavenly Father, that's the that's the Lord's mercy going out, man. Right quick. I'll land back up, brother. This is Jeremiah 1 and 5. It says, it says, uh, before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee, and before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee and ordained thee. All right, made holy, consecrated, all right, and ordained, predestinated you to do this, all right? It says, I ordained thee a prophet unto the nations, man. And this is what the brother doing it too. He, he sent these prophets to the nations, you guys. And how I said in sending, you don't make yourself a prophet like the Apostle Tsar was going into not too long ago. It's not up to you what you want to join. This ain't a boys club or the YMCA. The Lord, the true prophets are sent by the Heavenly Father as well as the false prophets too. But the ones that are gonna take heed and, and actually be um, the ones chosen to be exempt from the judgments that are about to take place, the ones that hearken unto the true prophets are the ones that the Lord is having compassion on because they're gonna receive the message and the warnings from the true prophets. Right. And uh, you see, if, if you watch that movie, uh, The Book of Clarence, 
it was going to go on into that because Clarence wanted to be right. a damn uh, disciple, a apostle, not a damn, but he wanted to be a disciple, man. And he didn't want it for the right reasons. And ultimately, he wanted to, for it because he wanted the fame and the glimpse, the woman, the money, the status and everything. But, man, they knew, they laughed at him when they said he wanted to be the 13th disciple and everything because they knew this is not something that you can just become. Right. You know, he, he showed up like, I'm the 13th disciple, y'all. And everybody's supposed to just be like, oh, yeah, I'm glad you made it, bro. Nah, it wasn't nothing like that, man. They laughed at him and they, you know, scoffed at him because they knew that, now, this is something that you are predestinated to do. Predest this is something that the Lord has put inside you since you was even um, um, created in your mother's womb, man. All right? Verse 16, it says, But they mocked the messengers of the Most High and despised his words and misused his prophets. Right. It's showing you this has nothing to do with what we feel or what we say according to, you know, what we think. You know, we go based off of the words of the Heavenly Father. He puts the words in our mouth and we just speak his, his, his prophecies, man. That we're just a vessel. That's all. There, there's no glorying in ourselves or boasting. We're just here to do the business of the Lord, man. So it says, until the wrath of the Lord arose against his people, till there was no remedy. So if you don't take heed to the warnings, if you misuse the prophets, you want to scoff and talk shit and run your mouth, that's fine. There's going to be no healing for you at the end of the day. Right. There's no, no mercy is going to be shown as far as salvation goes. Right. At the end of the day, if you want to mock and scoff, man, that doesn't change the fact that we're not going to stop doing what we're doing. We're going to continue to lift up the praises of, of the Lord's holy name by um, bringing out these scriptures, right. prophesying, doing what we're commanded to do. So it's, it's beneficial for you to hearken unto these words at the end of the day, man, because being destroyed with no remedy, all right, meaning having nothing that can stop that from happening unto you, man, it's going to be different. It's going to be miserable upon you and everything. Not this is a Proverbs 1, verse 25. It says, But he, he have set and not all my counsel and with none of my reproof. You see, because they think we out here, we just out here uh, funny games, man. Oh, we just uh, 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 clowns out here. You know, like we should be, we could be doing something else with our lives. No, man, the most high, like the brother had said, or well, the scripture has said, right. he, he has ordained men to show you the way. Right. Like the scriptures say, uh, this is the way, walk you in it. In it, right. You see, as a matter of fact, can I get that real quick? Yeah, I'm going to try that very ordained. Huh. Well, the understanding is that, man, this is not nothing of us. This is not nothing of just men. This is of the Lord, Yahweh, but you know All right, we're not out here operating on our own self, our own behalf, our own strength and will, man. All right, it takes particular men. The scripture refers to them as unordinary vessels, unordinary men. Right. All right, got to set up, come out here and prophesy and preach this gospel, man. Right. All right, in the face of the wicked, in the face of two thirds of our people as well. Two, All right. Two scriptures here, this, this one first, based off what, you, what you're saying. This is Jeremiah 3 and 15. It says, And I will give you pastors according to my heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. You see, the most high is, hey, he done stretched out his hand. Like, hey, in that Proverbs, stretching out my hand, I'm going to give you pastors, the prophets, according to my heart. It's going to keep you to understand, make you understand. Like the scriptures say, make it plain upon tables. Hey, let you understand, okay, this is the prophecy. This is what's going to happen. Tell me before it happens. You see, now going back to that Isaiah, it's Isaiah 30 and 21. It says, and thine ears shall hear a word behind thee, saying, this is the way, walk ye in it. Hey, we tell you, this is the way. Come back to the law, that's the commandment. Hey, uh, 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 Jake, come back to the law, that's the commandment. This is the way, man. This is how you get out of this hellhole. This is how you find rest. This is where you get your comfort from. We know you get to hell. We, hey, we've been there. We've done that. Okay? But this is what, hey, this is the way. That's right. Walk you in it. It says, when you turn to the right hand and when you turn to the left. Hey, what the scriptures say? Meditate therein day and night. And what? These scriptures. Okay? This is your God in this dark place, man. This is your light. See? And that's what all, that's all we're telling our people every day. Turn back to the power. How do you do that? Getting in these, in these lost that six commandments. Getting into the scripture, man. But uh, I'm going to go back to that proverb. If you didn't have anything, I finished it off. Okay, we'll finish it. Okay, come on. This is a Proverbs 1 and verse 25 again. It says, But you have said it not on my counsel and with none of my reproof. So you're not listening. When we tell you, hey, man, this is the way. Walk you in and come this way. 
Repent, turn back, turn back to your power. It says, I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear coming. Hey, that's what's going to happen, man. Now, when you get in that moment to where, oh, shit, you know what I'm saying? Hey, oh, it's that oh, shit moment. Hey, it, hey, they didn't know. Hey, when the days of Lord, when that flood came, they didn't know until the flood came that all oh, shit, hey, then you're going to know that the prophet has been among you. You see? Hey, that's what you're looking for. You got it out. Proverbs chapter 29 and verse 1. He that being often reproved hardeneth his neck shall suddenly be destroyed. And that without remedy. So you want to be stubborn. You know, you don't want to change your ways. You don't want to hearken for the, the better for your life, the better for your future. Destruction is going to come at, as a, at all out of nowhere, man. It's going to surprise you. It's going to be shocking to you. Unexpected. Matter of fact, let me read this in the GNT. Proverbs 29 and 1 in the GNT, it says, if you get more stubborn every time you are corrected, one day you will be crushed and never recover. So, hey, someone that's stubborn is somebody who is set in their own ways, right? You don't want to change. You're good how you think you are. Whenever the ones given the correction operate off of what the Lord's correction is, that's all it is. It's according to what the Lord wants, His ways, His will, His desire. All right, hey man, the Lord is cold too because He didn't set up the, the, the gigantic millionaires, right, right. the, the so-called um, stars of this world to do so. He got just the normal men to come out here, a few normal men, like I said, a couple average Joes to come out here to provide this message, man. And only those whose spirit can incline their ear to this right. are going to be able to understand and walk inside, of, right. walk inside of it, man. Right. All right says man these things are gathering these words that we're talking about are gathering the elect man all right through that spirit you know it's gathering the elect out here man because they're not looking at the outward appearance of things all right they're looking at things all spiritual and how everything is happening inside this world it's all spiritual man all right we see the fall of our enemy happening right now man all right all right we are watching it happen on the day to day spiritually we see that and at the, uh, the, the other side of that two-thirds they think this is some type of continuing city they're ready to go vote for Trump. They're like, no, nah, we're hey. not voting for Biden this year. Right. We're voting for Trump. Hey, man, it don't, give a, it don't matter who you vote for, man. All right? You don't operate inside this soup. Your ass is grass, man. Right, right. 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 This is a, Isaiah 34, verse 16. It says, Seek ye out of the book of the Lord, the Habashim Yahweh Shah, and read. That's right. No one of you shall fail. Now, what? Nothing inside this book, none of these prophecies. All right, now we're going to go into a little bit, man. Up. Oh, that he told us to watch for. We're going to hit that. All right? But none of these is going to fail. All right? As the brothers was going into, we got the social, social unrest happening. We got disasters and calamities happening. Okay? We have um, nothing but just just um, rumors and rumors of war. All the signs, right? All the signs, All the signs, man, signs. are hitting up more and more and more, like the birth things like the scriptures talks about, man. Right. All right? Until that birth happens, man. Okay? And it's a beautiful thing, man, if you're a man of the Lord, if you understand that, man, we don't have much longer in right. this place, man. All right? right. We, we, hey, we, we stay rooted and grounded inside these scriptures, being obedient, man. All right? The Lord's going to deliver us. We're going to make it on that chariot, man, Lord willing. All right? By operating in faith, man, stepping and walking in faith, ultimately, man, which is walking inside this gospel. Yeah, I can, yeah, I can just add, add it to the room. Uh, None, none shall uh, fail. It says, this is uh, Isaiah 55 and 11. Yeah. It says, and so shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. Right. It shall not return unto me void. Right. Hey, so that's going into, hey, none shall fail. The prophecies. Hey, the most high said it, it's going to happen, man. Yeah. Hey, if you're going to, hey, if the most high said you know, he, he do not do a nigga, he said it, it's going to happen. He's not going to do a nigga. That's right. why you see uh, judgment going forth every day. Because he does not do a nigga, man. It says, uh, it shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereunto I sent it. Hey. hey, that's what we're going to be going into some of the prophecies, the things that that that, that, is, that is written to happen before a uh, before time. We're going to go into. You see these things happen now, man. You see, Lord willing. But going back to the, no, no, brother got to too much. Uh, quick point on what brother just said. Man, the Lord, the how our power is not pump faking, man. He's not just like, all right, all right. Yeah. I had you. Yeah, I'm going to get you with his leg. No, no, he's making these things happen. Got to read inside these scriptures, man. All right, on a daily basis. 
constantly making it happen. And we're anxious to see what the Lord has done on, on, on what happened, what news alert is coming through. We woke up yesterday, they said, oh, total collapse of the, uh, the communication. Right. Man, you know, we got smiles on our face when we see these things. So we understand. We, got, we understand what happens when, when this shit goes dark. When this shit goes dark, these so-called tough men turn to women out here, man. All right, all your so-called security and shit that you got at your house, your pool, everything, it's, it's the open grass, man. It's for anybody and everybody. It's open season on the wicked in that time, man. All right, all right. thus say the Lord. This is 2nd Esther, chapter 16 and verse 37. It says, Behold, the days draw nigh and are not slack. As when a woman with child in the ninth month bringeth forth her son, within two or three hours of her birth, great pains can pass her womb with pains. When the child cometh forth, they shall slack you. They slack not a moment. So hey, that's how the plagues are coming. And it's not based off of our time. Whenever the Lord says something, it's going to happen. How people want to see a sign, y'all been saying that. Y'all keep saying the same thing, teach something. Now guess what? Hey, the plagues are coming and they're not slack. Things are happening every day. Right. The judgments are happening every day. Things are lining up so perfectly, man. And, and, and paying attention to prophecy, it gets you, like, like you said, it puts a smile on your face and it gives your spirit comfort because right. that's proof that what we're able to preach is is, is true, man. Right. Like the Lord is, is proving to us every day that we just got to keep going, man. We got to keep going and not stop nor get weary. Right. And it's like if you see a woman in that condition, like, yeah, about to give a baby. I didn't really understand it until I was actually in that position. But she, but she about to bring forth that child when that birth pain start coming. You know, she she want that shit to stop. It's, it's, hey, cause that's that's a lot of pain that she, that, that she bearing, and, and and it's happening for for a long period of time, right? And then we go when they go when they take these women to the hospital, they try to give them all type of medications, right? The epidural and stuff like that, but that don't stop the pain. Okay, the baby the baby's still gonna come and still gonna be painful. It remind me of with Jeremiah when he said the Babylon take off for her and she may be healed. And there's no hill in this place. Right. Things are happening every day. And the destruction is coming. Right. right. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. So it's, it's faith boosting, man. We see happening. Uh, what we see happening on the world stage, man. They're building our faith up even more, man. All right. Even more to that, that, that bright and sunny day. All right. Yeah. Second Ezra 16 and 39. It says, even so shall not the plagues be slack to come upon the earth. And the world shall mourn and sorrow shall come upon it every side. So the prophecies are going to happen. The troubles and the sorrows are going to come quickly. They're not going to be slack and you can't do nothing to avoid it or stop it. And especially whenever the time of Jacob's trouble pops up and there's no doubt that, oh, this is what they've been talking about. It ain't over until your house shot comes and delivers the elect. It's not over. It's no exit or pause or, you know, it's going to get better next year. It's a wrap, man. The evils are going to increase so bad that the Lord is going to have to come and put an end to this shit. Right. You see it happening. with the migrants, man. Hey, they over there. Hey, they, they going ham on the people because they're not used to The people, the uh, Americans, they're not used to going through shit. They used to that shit, man. They all that all that's on their mind is hey, they have no rules. They're lawless people, man. Right. They're used to hey, just doing things uh, uh, to survive. You see? Right. Yeah. They uh, they said a lot of a lot of them coming out of the prisons down there in South America and everything. All right. They, they, a lot of those think people they just hey get the fuck out of my country type shit. All right. And America's standing right there, like come on up here. Right. We got you in America. So you got these, uh, these individuals operating with a prison type of mentality that's way different from our prison mentality as well. Right. Their prison system is totally different. It's survival of the fittest. Right. For real, for real. Out for there, real, man. Yeah. Because they own the guards out there, you know, a lot of those cartels and everybody else and everything. So it's a different type of environment that they're, they're messing with this, man. And it comes, man, it's, it's, it's kind of like what they did with the projects, bro. Right. All right? Because in the projects, as America had it, they had all these sort, certain people living in poverty inside of one little area, okay? And all these people, uh, they made that area into like a third world country, okay? And so the rules of the world never existed inside of that area which they were living in. 
So their own rules it could uh rule or lived in. So there always be gang wars and always who's in control because who wants to rule and everything. And then what ended up happening, they scattered these people all around America, man, after they tore down the projects and shit. So you got nothing but more people operating that same third world mentality, which is eat or be eaten right. type of mentality. Okay, survival of the fist mentality breeding on so-called normal people. Right, it's right. like, shit, I'm just out here trying to work for me, my family. they like, get down or lay down. Right. <laughs> Give me what you got. Right. You know, I got to eat. What about my family? Right. You know what I'm saying? That's going to be, hey, that's that's gonna be that's worldwide. That's, that's the man. point. That's, that's yeah, it. It's going to be worldwide. It, hey, it's starting now, but hey, it's going to trickle on down, man. It's going to be different states. That's and then what's going to happen? Now it's going to be all chaos. Yes. Now what we got to do? Yes. How can we stop this? Because yes. the laws, like, they, they even uh, got interviewed where they saying a lot of people like, man, hold up. We, we, we busting our ass up to, to lock these people up and all they're doing to let them go. Yeah, because that's, this is the setup. This, that's the setup, though. Right. The setup. You see, hey, they, hey, the only way out of this, man, is this truth, man. That's the only way, man. You see, but you got it, huh? Right. Hey, you want that, uh, Because the Lord ultimately, man, he has his watchman out here watching, all right, to convey the message. That's what we've been going into. The watchmen are also the prophets of the Lord, man. All right? They're watching for these signs. They're watching for these times in which we're living in. All right? Okay. This is uh, Ezekiel 3 and verse 17. It says, Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. That's right. So to the house of Israel, the Lord has ordained and predestinated men that are going to be watching over the house of Israel by giving them warning, by letting them know what's going on on the face of this earth, man. All right? Okay. It says... Uh, like it says, therefore, hear the word in my mouth and give the warning for me. That's right, man. So once again, the prophets are the mouthpieces of the Lord. Okay? Since the earliest times, since the foundation of the earth, the Lord has always used the, the prophets, man, to relay that message as we've been going into. All right? This, this, everything that's written inside the scriptures are, are just precept upon precept. Here a little, there a little, man. Okay? This is how you gain that understanding about this, this word because it's the same story or the same song throughout the whole scriptures, man. It's not that the prophets are going to say, nah, we're good in this season. Right. Take a break. Nah, they don't need us out there right now. Ain't nothing to watch for. No, man. The watchmen are always on duty watch. Okay? If you're a watchman of the Lord, man. Okay? So all throughout the scriptures don't say take a break. They say be in season out of season. Right. All right? We out here ready to give us a, 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 an answer to these people, man. Let them know what's happening. All right, we're living in a time that it's going to be an influx of people that want to know what the fuck is happening because we're getting ready to go into another lockdown coming up, man. It's getting ready to be a lot of things happening in April, March, you know, going to be into this summer, okay? There's going to be a lot of destruction happening on the face of this earth, man. And the watchmen are set up to warn the people. Watchmen are set up to, like, not love their lives, but love the word, okay? And love pervading this message and ultimately getting the blood off our hands as we've been going through in this particular 37, but for that appreciate yeah, time. Right. Romans 12 and verse 1. Yep. It says, I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of the Most High, that you present your bodies yep. a living sacrifice. Beautiful, man. So how you how you present yourself a living sacrifice? You're getting washed with this word, man. All right? Yahweh Shai was the ultimate sacrifice. He had no sin. Okay? He was without blemish, as the scriptures talks about, man. So we're walking in the same way that Yahweh Shai was, but trying to be, trying to be, be right, man. Trying to be righteous by what? Operating inside your scriptures. I've been facing the outside knowing that he will forgive us if we repent wholeheartedly of our sins from falling short. Because being in the flesh, we can't keep the law perfectly. All right? We can't keep the law perfectly, but we strive for that perfection. But we strive to try to, to do these laws, that's the commandments to the best of our ability. Man, we're being made we're being made perfect, and we look perfect in the eyes of the Lord, man. Yeah. Right. And also, too, if I can add, this is also the sacrifice, what we're doing. Yeah. Hey, this is a sacrifice. Yep. Yeah. See, hey, because he said I said I'm uh, watching the warning. Hey, who else is doing it? Like the brother made mention earlier, this is love at the end of the day. Okay? We're showing love to our, to our people, man. Uh -huh. If you're hey, hey, who else is gonna do it? The most I have ordained men to do this. Okay? This is our reasonable service. You can get killed. Yeah, you can hey, lose our lives. Good. You see, hey, we that's why we have to switch things around because of that. You know, it's it ain't it's not no, no fun and games out here, man. We had, we had, this is a battle.
if that's to be our number one priority. Everything else got to fall in line. Right. Second. Right. You know, so then the reason for our reasonable service, this is what we set up for. The elect we set up to come out here and this is our reasonable service. We preach this gospel, this is our this is our job. Right. You know, so I right. just want to make that point. Right. Right. Hey, because like uh, I think that's it, Jeremiah would say that um, he didn't want to, he didn't want, he wanted to hold back. He didn't want to preach. He didn't want to speak. But it was a fire in him. Hey, that's how I go to speak. Hey, it's a fire in him. It's like, man, you know what? I'm going to go, I'm going to go teach. I'm going to go preach. You see? Hey, to give that warning, man. Hey, because like again, that's showing that love, man. But at the, at, the, at the end of the day, this is that sacrifice. This is the sacrifice that we have to make. So the fire in him, just like in the temple, you put fire on the sacrifice. That's right, brother. And also you had the fire in the temple that's burning. And with the, and with the, the, the fire in the temple couldn't be put out. It burned day and night. Right, yeah. Hey, also, hey, they hey, feel like we're about sitting out with having that spirit. Because we just read the judgment. Right. You know, every morning he's praying for his judgment. Right. So that also fear in us to come out here and do the work, the will of y'all about sitting out with Because we don't want to be judged like these two thirds. Right. 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 Finish that off. Yeah. It says, uh, it says, uh, okay, I'm going to start from the top. Romans 12 to 1, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of the Most High. Hey, because ain't nobody out here on their own will. Ephesians 2 and 8. Hey, this, this is the gift that was given to us from the Most High. Hey, this is mercy. You see? Hey, because we understand. We see what's going on out there. Hey, man, better you than me. You see? It says uh, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice. Holy, meaning separate. You can't be walking like that. You can't be no nigga, man, and, 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 and being this truth, man. Hey, you can't be on both sides. You see, you got to choose what, what you're going to do. What side are you going to be on? You see? It says acceptable unto the most high which is your reasonable service hey that's the least you can pay hey that's hey that's reasonable you see hey that's like you said that's mercy you see because we could be in that day that day hey, that, uh, that state without the spirit you know that mindset hey that's why we beg hey hey baba kishan baba kishan baba kishan please don't take your spirit from me man that's a part of we being uh is acceptable to the yahweh by the shop right. about praying this prayer about knowing his will and preaching this gospel man. That's right, right. First of all, we are hazarding our lives ultimately for the gospel of Yahweh Shah. And the true men understand that. But the men that are not up up of the club or understand this truth or whatnot, man, they don't understand that it's a war going on, man. And you have to lose your life, you know, for this, man. You have to present yourself like that. Alright, for that. And not give a damn about it at the end of the day. The scripture says to love not their 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 own lives, man. At the end of the day. We understand we are tools fulfilling the the, the, the works of the Lord out here. And like you said, said, real quick, you said, love not their lives unto death, unto death. Hey, meaning all the way, all, hey, nothing else, unto death, making that sacrifice. So if we take that, hey, we understand. Hey, that, hey, that's a that's a just judgment for the most high, man. And the brother just said it, we angels in this wicked ass session. Right, right. Right. And that really just going, so I hate my life. You know, no. We're just saying, like, if, if, if death comes, are you willing to give it up? Right, right. right. You have your actual life. You're actually willing to die for this first Book of Acts, chapter 15 and 25, it says, It seemed good unto us, being assembled with one accord, to send chosen men unto you with our beloved Barnabas and Paul. It says, Men that have hazarded their lives for the name of our Lord, Yahweh Shai Mashiach. All right, so the men that are out here, man, this is, this is a hazardous occupation. All right, that the Lord has chosen certain individuals to come inside of, man. And these men understand that this is what they're going to do. Just like the basketball players that dribble up and down the court or the football players that run up and down the field. All right, Lord willing, we are those men of the elect of those prophets that are out here getting ready to, to, to do miraculous things, man. You know, the, the scriptures that it talks about who are they? Who are those? All right, those men who stood so stiffly for the gospel, man. All right, this is the thing about being a soldier. Okay, and uh, going to the word soldier, it means a fighting man, all right? A man who's fighting, all right? So it's about striving, okay? This thing, we're striving for the gospel. We're not doing it carnally. We're doing it spiritually by being obedient, being as lambs, led to the slaughter, man, following after Yahweh shot, all right? The servant's not greater than his master. He, he went through it, man. We're going to have to go through our things as well. We all have our path to walk out here on, on a day and day, all right? And the scriptures also says that how we're crucified daily inside this place, man. Right. Hey, 
how you start down the Lord, whatever the Lord has you go through, that's whenever you apply the spirit of the Lord that's within this temple. You know, hey, the Lord said he won't put us through anything that we cannot handle. So whenever, whatever we're faced with, and we're able to apply the spirit, hey, that's that temple ain't defiled. But whenever you doubt, now, hey, that temple is defiled. Whenever you operate in a corrupt manner, now you're acting as, or now that temple is defiled, how the Lord said, him shall the most high destroy. So it says, for the temple of the most high is holy, which temple ye are. So we are that temple. And it's holy, it's separate. You know, you don't operate a holy way. Specifically, what, what, what we encounter on a daily is applying more spirit than less flesh. You know, on a, on a daily, on a day-to-day -day base, fighting that battle, that spiritual battle. You know, being locked in and moving according to the spirit of the Heavenly Father, not according to the flesh. Right. Yeah, man. That's a uh, brother, man, beautiful point. I want to tell him, man, how you doubt and how that doubt will breed fear. All right? We did a lesson the other night going into how, man, we in a time of war, basically, man. So, man, that doubt in a time of war is going to corrupt other minds and other people as well. All right? I operate in that, understanding that, man, it's a spiritual battle, and you got to be girded up inside this truth, all right, and it's righteousness. Yeah, but that, if, if, if that spirit might come, you just have to rebuke that spirit. Right. And pray to the Father, because you mean how shot got scared when it was this time. I was shot when he prayed three times for the Lord to basically take that take that cup away from him. See? But then he realized that he had to go through it. So that spirit may come, but you might have to rebuke it. Right. Well, another brother might rebuke that fucking spirit off. Right. 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 Because ultimately, man, it's a battle between your flesh and your spirit. All right. The flesh, uh, the spirit is willing, the flesh is weak. So you constantly, these things are constantly at war with each other. All right. So what you get your mind to is going to overcome you in the end, man. All right, so man, you, you want your spirit to be strong, so you're gonna be meditating upon His word, okay? Like the scripture says, to answer your point, let your eye be single. You know, you have to, you know, having your spirit single set. You know, or if not, and it goes into how great is that darkness if you don't be being carried away on some other stuff, man. Right, right, man. So in, in order not to be in full of doubt. All right, and in order to be able to rebuke yourself when those feelings and these emotions are rising, you gotta put on the armor of the Lord on the daily, on the day to day. Understand that we are in a battle, man. Okay. Ephesians chapter six and verse eleven. Yeah. Put on the whole armor of the Most High. All right, so not a little bit, man. Not one foot, one shoe. You know, just a chest plate, maybe a helmet, maybe a glove. All right, I forgot the, the other part at the house. No, it says put on the full armor of the Lord, man. That's that's from, that's from um, Genesis to Revelation. That's everything inside the scriptures, man. All right, put on the whole armor. Got it? Ephesians 6 and 11, put on the whole armor of the Most High that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. It's the only way you're going to be able to stand against the wiles of the devil, man. The tricks, the schemes, the plots, man. All these things that are happening on the face of this earth right now to trick and to sift you out of the truth, to sift your light out off of you, man. Okay? And, and, and knowing how this devil operates, he repetitively, repetitively tries to instill fear in people. Yeah. He comes with scare tactics, yeah. scare tactics, and fear. He wants you to make you fear him more than we fear the heavenly Father. That's right. That's why when Yahweh Shai said, "Fear not him who can destroy flesh," right? But what? Hey, fear him who can destroy both flesh and soul. Right. Or did I misquote that? I'm gonna paraphrase. Body and soul in hell. Right. But yeah, because that's. That's a wild of the devil. Yeah. Want to make you operate where you acting like a whole, like you ain't a man of the Lord no more. Like right. you don't have faith in your how about shot. That's right. Operating like a damn uh, American citizen. Right. You know? No, really, it's because it's spiritual. Yeah, yeah. It's all spiritual. Yeah, that's, that's we don't call ourselves a, right. I'm not an American. We ain't no damn Americans out here. Right. We're not. Hey, we're Israelites and we're men that fear the Heavenly Father and we want to serve him forever, man. So, right. so having that mindset, not to let a, a, a damn Edomite put or trick you or, or have deceit or craftiness or instill fear in you where you separate from the Heavenly Father, no way. Because that's go, that's that's a part of your legacy. Man. And we're trying to be a part of the Lord's elect, man. And that, that goes for everybody who has faith in Yahweh Shah. That's what it's about. Right. Because if people want to boast in the flesh and the flesh. Right. But watch, if you ain't in the right spirit, the Lord go expose your fucking ass, man. Right. 
And as he did, man, through the uh, C19 situation. Right. All right, all these spirit texts is constantly hitting up. And then when the shit, when your man, when your hands, when your hands hit that flame, man, what you gonna do? All right, you gonna operate like the three holy children and praise his name. He said, man, regardless of what I praise now, I'm gonna give my praises to the Lord. Now, right. I'm gonna worship. I'm gonna stay in that same lot, man. Right. All right, I'm gonna I'm stay, man. We gotta endure to the end. This is how we obtain that crown of righteousness. This is how we obtain that salvation, also. Okay? Fuck the, 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 the our apostle Buddha says, fuck the flame, man. Right. Okay? You know, you have to learn to just uh, uh, get comfortable in that shit, man. All right? And so we had a, a fear tactic happen yesterday with all the communications going down, man. Right. So a lot of people, to a normal person, I have the internet. Damn, I can't call nobody. We brought it up earlier. These people are in fearful state. Right. They're like, damn, man, what I'm going to do? Yeah. And then on the Lord said, we good. We was comfortable, man. Yeah, we right. was comfortable understanding that, man. We uh, we have the Lord's name to call upon. Right. That's what we're going to do. All right? Yeah. We understand that the, um, the angels are camped around those who fear the Lord. All right, that's what we're going to do. All right, um, what's the scripture say? No weapon that is formed against us shall prosper. No tongue that rises up against us shall prevail, man. It's the inheritance of the, of the service of saints, man. This is what we get, okay? We get that protection by being faithful and true in this word, operating rightfully, man. All right, so when you operate rightfully, you have that confidence, that kind of confidence. And you, you walk in a certain type of way. You're like, man, the Lord got me. And guess what? Even if I perish, the Lord got me. Right. In that situation, even if, he, you know, if I have to meet my death by getting stoned, all right, or getting pulled apart, all right, the Lord got me. It's his will, ultimately, man. The perfectly is pleasing in his eyes, so I can, I can be uh, found worthy, all right, to be in that kingdom, to, to operate rightfully in that kingdom like that, man. And that day. Uh, you know, he's going to finish this. Yeah, you got one, bro. Ephesians chapter 6 and 11, put on the whole armor of the Most High, that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Right. Verse 12. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood. And not wrestling in flesh and blood. We're not picking up arms out here to go, to go after the enemy and everything, man. We understand the Lord said, wait ye for me, for I rise up to the break. The Lord's going to rise up and shake this shit up, man, out here. He's going to destroy the adversary also. Okay? We're destroying, we're being his mouthpiece right now, but the Lord is coming with that consuming fire that's going to melt this place, man. All right? But against principalities, yep. against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, yep, against spiritual wickedness in high places. So, man, these sorcerers, these uh, these elites out here, okay, the, the, the people who are writing these legislation, these unrighteous decrees and everything, man, these are the wicked, man, these people out here are putting all sorts of, um, let's say, um, enchantments, wicked power on, on corrupting and destroying the, uh, the Israel, Israelites, man. All right, but the Lord said, man, we got it. He got that spiritual battle that's being waged. Now we're gonna win. We're gonna conquer at the end of the day, man. The scriptures also yeah. say we're more than conquerors through Yahweh Shah. Man, with Yahweh Shah, we can do all things, man. Okay? And this is how we got to put our faith in. This is how we gotta walk in these times we're living. Uh, I'm gonna read verse 13. Ephesians 6 and 13, it says, Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of the most high, right? That ye may be able to withstand in the evil day. Right. And having done all to stand. So stand. If you go on to the next verse, you know, after you've done standing, continue to stand. It's a thing of enduring and perseverance, man. All right. Understanding that what's getting ready to happen on the face of the earth is meant for our deliverance. Right. It's meant for our salvation. Okay, the destruction, all the all the all these people getting ready to be cannon fire and shit like that. All right, man, it, it, these things have to happen. It's a process. All right, for us to enter into that kingdom, for us to, to be safe. Right? Yeah, right. Verse 14, and understanding that, yeah. that we know that, okay, these things got to happen. That's why this this year is, is going. The whole Over year, they get trouble. We right. want this shit to happen. <laughs> you know? And hastily, right. this scripture talks about. So this place is nothing with fever and hate, man. All right, man, hey, hey we got way more greater things coming in the world to come. It says, stand therefore, having your loins girt about with truth, Woo! and having on the breastplate of righteousness. Man, this gospel, girt it up, man, holding yourself together with this truth, 
ultimately, man. And it says the breastplate of righteousness. Right, right, man. Being a righteous, your heart. All right, protecting your, yourself. As the brother said, keeping your eyes to it at the end of the day, man. Keep your eyes singular and focus on this gospel. Focus on this word, man. All right, not being not being all distracted by what you're seeing happening in society and the cares and the woes of this world, man. All right. So, yeah, with that. Uh, <laughs> I have one real quick. Go ahead and tell me what you're talking about. Hey, this is hey, old the goodie. This is a song 23. In verse 4, it says, Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. Hey, the shadow of death, that's, hey, Babylon the Great, a.k.a. America, man. Hey, because what all, hey, the only thing that's promoted here is death, man. No life in this place. It says, I will fear no evil in the bad times, because it's bad times coming. Okay? It says, For thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Ooh. Hey, this is where we get our comfort description, man. Yeah. Like we had made mention earlier, we have a comfort. Two thirds of our people, they ain't got no comfort. These, these other uh, uh, nations, they have no comfort for the things that's coming. Like we had, we was talking about earlier about uh, uh, how the uh, uh, AT and T, how the, the, the lines they could uh, shut down. These other people were in panic, okay? But we had comfort. We we, we hasten in these things, man. You see, we want these things to happen. But uh, yeah, that was it. Get that last hour right there. Yeah, you can see right here. This is the book of chapter Revelation. Yeah, we can see that. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 18 and 1. It says, and after these things, I saw an, I saw another angel come down from heaven, having great power, and the earth was lightened with his glory. It says, and he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, Babylon the great is fallen, is fallen, and it's become the habitation of devils. Right, Babylon, it said, Babylon the great is fallen. And that's talking about America. Babylon the Great in the scriptures, that's what it's referring to. That's, that's basically the cold name or the mysterious way, right? Or the secretive way or the codified way that the most high is basically identifying America. Alright, so it says Babylon is fallen. So the destruction of America is going to come. In Revelation, the 18th chapter, you had John, right, the Apostle John on the Isle of Patmos receiving the the vision and seeing these things take place. So it's going to happen. Prophecy is going to be fulfilled. Like brothers were going to earlier, that none of these things are going to fail. Right? Right? The most I said it, it's going to happen. This place got to be destroyed. I just want to link up Babylon. Link up our uh, brother saying Babylon. I want to link it up with Babylon with America today, and I will so link up with Esau because uh, Esau the earth was given to the hand of the wicked, so to kind of link that up with Babylon and America today and link with Edom. Esau, I say, it's uh, Psalms 137 and verse 7. Remember, oh Yahweh, oh Yahweh, the children of Edom in the day of Jerusalem who say, Raise it, raise it. Even the foundation thereof. Here's the point, verse 8. Old daughter of Babylon. So he's showing that old daughter of Babylon, which is America Day, is linked up to Esau Edom. Okay? What the brother going into. And it reads, Old daughter of Babylon, who ought to be destroyed, happy shall he be that reward the deed as thou hast served us. And that was the point. Old daughter of Babylon. Babylonian gods set up. Alright? Right. Showing you what's all with what, what they all about over there. <laughs> if you go to Hollywood, Hollywood comes to Hollywood. Alright? You go into some witchcraft. 
That's all it is. The, 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 the television and all that shit. That's what that shit is about. At Whisper. Uh, this is the book of Revelation, chapter 18 and 2. It says, And he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, Babylon the great is fallen, is fallen, and has become the habitation of devils, and the hold of every foul spirit, and a cage of every unclean and hateful bird. Right? Because when this place be destroyed, and it will be destroyed by those nuclear missiles, and when this place is burnt up, this whole land is going to become desolate. So where it's going to be like a desert. Right? Right, this whole land mass of America will become a desert. And all these, these creatures that are able to live in this condition, that, that's, that's who's going to be over here. Uh, because no human is going to be over here. It's not going to be living. Because they even say that after, you know, Mr. T, all of the radiation and everything like that, you're not going to be able to breathe that stuff. But still, hey, the Lord said, nobody's going to dwell over here no more. All right? This place got to be cleansed of the blood that was shed and everything. All right? It's, it's, it's too much wickedness going on over here. The Lord is going to do away with this place. All right? Just like he did with Sodom and Gomorrah. Like that brother brought that Habakkuk 3. And 2, get that again now. This is uh, Habakkuk 3 and verse 2. It says, O Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, I have heard thy speech and was afraid. O Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, revive thy work in the midst of the years. In the midst of the years, make known in wrath, remember mercy. All right, so the most side is bringing wrath. Get another verse 8. Verse 8, it says, Was the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, displeased against the rivers? Was thine anger against the rivers? Was thy wrath against the sea? That thou didst ride upon thine horses in that chariot of salvation? Right, it's like I, the way the most high gonna come. It's like damn, like you what you mad at the trees and the, the, the grass and everything. <laughs> damn, you seen everything happening. Right, right, right. When you go to the destruction of Simon the Lord says the most high destroyed, hey, he took destroyed the grass on the He couldn't go no more. All right? So the most odd destroying everything. Just like when you go to what that is, I think it's overnight. The great, the, the great gathers, you know, all uh, came with the new Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. He has overnight. The most odd is not leaving America with nothing. He's not leaving Esau with nothing. Everything being destroyed. Yeah. It speaks about uh, the minds of confusion. Yeah. All right. Of, um, Isaiah the 34th chapter. But hey, you're not gonna be able to know even you know, when it was New York, when it was California, it's, it's, everything is gonna be true. Sure you have to go to tell Right? Even in the book of Joel, we said the land, the land was full of trees and you know, green. The land was like the garden of Eden. Right? After the desolate world. That's the way that Esau, he don't use the most high. 
Because the Mossad gave him so much power that he's blinded by his power. You know, that he can be taken out of that power. Even the people in Revelation 13 said they wanted after the beast. They said, who can make war with the beast? They're like, nobody can take this man down. He's not the God. He's got, he's got to do it. Right? You see, they'll drop it. Revelation 13 spoke about that as well. Hey, you right? They dropped fire from heaven. Okay, but 
that came, that was passed down from Cain. That's that mark. All right, and that was put on this man. So when we see Esau walking around here, that's that's how Cain fucking look. Yep. See, this is this is the wicked. So we ain't even gotta go all the way back to see how Cain. You know, we see this nigga walking around every day. You know, right. Right. All right. And most I said he hated him. That's the same spirit that was in Cain. The same spirit that was in the serpent. That was him. In the garden. He started all this fucking trouble. Even though he had to go to hell this way. Right? right? It, was, it was his ass. The smooth talking devil. Alright? In, in the book of Psalms, it says that his, his words were smoother than oil. Right? It's like he was able to, 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 to split up and eat the right. Telling her what she wanted to hear. Right? That's how women are. Yeah. Right? Yeah. He was, yeah. and he, got, he got all up in the head running that game. Yeah. He was putting, he was putting it down. Right, you know, because manipulating women, it's not hard, man. Just tell her what the fuck you want to hear. Tell her, matter of fact, give her, tell her that she's going to be in charge. That's why she's the weakest vessel, according to the scripture. He went to the weakest vessel to run his game. That was it. Yeah, that's it. Hey, you're supposed to be God, baby. Yeah. 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 Hey, this, I can fucking do that. This is my creation. 
All right, nobody can tell, can tell me anything. Fuck anyone else on the planet Earth. All right, in flesh, tell the most out of he's unrighteous. When he created righteousness, when he embodies this, right? right? He's the most holy, the most high. Fuck any unrighteousness be, be from him. Right. How can you tell them he is wrong? Right. The most high made this. Yeah, he 
off the wood. He got, he got killed. You see? That's how the most high, hey. That's why it's like, okay, well, how can you talk against him and say anything, you know? If that's, hey, that's how the most high moves. You know, that's how he, how he deals. Right, y'all want to say, say, you know, I do what I want to do. Right. Right. I got a perfect one. Oh, fuck, I'm good. No, yeah. No, you got to I just going to say, uh, they got a thing that said, I'm, I'm, man, I'm going to spaz out. You know, oh, I blacked out. The other night. Yeah, yeah, right, so, right, man, right. the Lord got to put that demon on your ass. Right. Yes, now you're in jail, crying. Right, right. I, I, I just, right, you know, I, I'm going to come home. Yeah, 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 I didn't mean it. I'm going to put a demon on your ass. I'm going to call you a moment. You're in black out. You're in black out. You're in black out. Yeah. Lord, 
Right, that was for Bill. Oh, what you know? Verse 17, that he may withdraw man from his purpose and hide pride from man. Right, withdraw man from his purpose. What the hell you want to do? Because <laughs> you feel like you can do what you want to do. You can have pride. Right. The most I have to let you know that you're not in fucking control. Right. Right. You don't know how I want to do it. All right? You want to go to the NBA. No, oh, nigga, I'm going to hurt you. You ain't going. All right? You want to go to the NBA, then you're going to be next time. Whatever, whatever it is you want to obtain in life. Or even with us, we have things you want to do. Don't y'all like saying, but put your ass down. Right, right, right. What you want to do? And you're going to behave with people. People going to fucking lie on you. All right? People going to want to kill y'all. All right, some of y'all will be killed. Right. This, this is the life I sit up with. It's like when you, when the problem is too far to never be. Right? When they came up, your house shot with their mother. Right? And they said, hey, your house just said, you able to, you know, drink of this stuff? So we don't have no choice. Yeah, it's like how you how it shine. He had to drink it that something was baptized, you know, with the baptism of stuff and all those things. Right, right. Now all of us is we are not going to die, not all of us, right? But some some brothers will. But we got we gotta catch that heat. We gotta go through that fire like you know, the house is going to do. Right? They get persecution, all of those things. Which won't be to the intensity of his, right? But it will be to our own level. We gotta go through that. If the Lord got us, got that cup set up for us, there's nothing that we can do to turn it away. It's like in our time, you should have prayed three times. Alright? We can't, we can't do nothing to stop us. So right. I, I, however, the Lord got it planned out for us, hey, that's what we gotta do. That's what we do. That was it on that. That was it This is our Romans 9, verse 16. It says, So then it is not of him that will it. Nor of him that run it, but of the most high that show mercy. Right, so the most high, whether the most high shows mercy on you or not, it doesn't depend on your actions or what you do. The Lord already, it's up to him. He's already decided. He's Jews already ordained for making you come on the earth and even have to do something. Or who's going to be a righteous spirit, who's going to be a wicked spirit. He saw down his subject when he's going to be. Right? The most wicked to ever rule, to ever rule. Exist on the planet Earth, they end up being as feminine as the only nation. The Lord, the Lord, the Lord set you up to be that, right? And this man, and he, he, he's prideful, but not knowing that hey, your time is about to be up. Because when you start receiving his blessing, he wasn't set up to rule forever. All right, it's gonna be temporary, and it's gonna be through violence, and your violence is gonna get you hated, right? That violence is gonna get your friends. Turn on you and to destroy you. He's gonna have a whole world hate you. The whole world's not gonna hate this world when we are not here. Because we're gonna rule right. Even though we're gonna be beating niggas asses when they get out of line, right? But ultimately, the way that we rule is gonna bring peace to the planet Earth. So people people are able actually to enjoy how it's supposed to be enjoyed, right? Ain't gonna be no fucking adultery going on. You don't think these nations are gonna, are gonna be excited? Happy, so that women are no longer able to do what they want to do if they commit adultery. Then he will not be oppressed, right? But he's like, he's like they working, get paid their wages, right? And I, you know, fucking have to worry about, you know, them coming up short, right? Us stealing their money, because they can already be giving us everything anyway, all right? But they work for us, we're going we to deal justly with them, right? We ain't going to be fucking crooks. All right, we used to be beating their ass for no reason. Either. That's not gonna. That's not what the kingdom of heaven is about. We're gonna have, yes, we're gonna have captains. We're gonna have slaves, right? There's gonna be more things other than that going on. All right, the, 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 the will of the by Shem Yahweh Shah will be taking place. And we're gonna be enjoying that, enjoying the. Uh, we're gonna be service, serving the Most High, right? Living righteously, following the laws and commandments, right? Going to different universes. And all these different things, man. All right, we're gonna be, uh, we're gonna be gods. We're gonna, we're gonna be righteous, right? We're not gonna make it
uh, Proverbs 29 and verse 2, it says, when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked bear rule, the people mourn. And right now, that's what's going on. People mourn like they're going to go into. Like he said, that's why another reason why the, this, this kingdom is going to go to an end, because like the scripture say, even his uh, his allies are going to turn against him. Hey, because you you wicked. Hey, they're starting to see that. All, with all that shit, they just slept with the sword. They didn't call all kinds of diseases in this bitch. You see, they, they start to see that. Yeah, whenever they, the righteous, or when, we, when we bear rule, that first thousand years is going to get your ass whooped, these other nations, these are you're going to be done away with. But after, after that, then you're going to be able to, hey, you're going to be able to enjoy with us. Like you said, it's bad. with the war. Not that high and dry, you know, as they say. But yo, this devil speaking on what the brothers was going into. This devil, everything on the course, as the scripture says, the earth, everything on the course, man. Ain't nothing in this part of this earth is spiritual. And if it is, them devils got it hauled up. They, and they can, where they got it at, for, uh, as far as the food, the air we breathe, everything, man, is fucked up in this place, man. Right. This devil be a bad, uh, uh, how you say it, uh, bad, uh, house manager of the earth, man. Just as well. Because when we heard the truth, it's 
to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord, Yahweh Shimei Alashai, in the day of vengeance of our power. Right, we're proclaiming that. The day of vengeance. Woo right? This, this is the time. Yahweh Shai is about to return. A man that's been gone for over 2,000 years, right? Which, uh, to, uh, to them, shit, that's a, that's a couple of days, two days. Right, right. Right, but to us, it's been a long time, so the earth haven't seen him in a while. Okay? But he's coming back into this, the, the, the second room, right, to, to reveal himself again. So the first time he, he was there, right, y'all did him bad. We should have to go according you know, to the promise. It had to go that way, right? But he ain't forgetting about it. That's why he about to pull up with something on his mind. That was Isaiah 47 where he said, vengeance is in his heart. This, this, this is what the Lord is thinking about doing. Saving his elect, but also destroying Rome. Which America is Rome all over again. All right? He couldn't do it back then. He had to be that lamb, but this time he's going to be that lion. And I will not meet thee as a man. So they about to, they about, they about to see a whole different year how shot. Okay, because he already he already laid his life down. He ain't gonna do that again when he comes back. Alright? He ain't just gonna come peaceably. This is war. Alright? And when the daddy said, hey, the same shall take the thing. Right? When niggas say I'm gonna take your phone, that's violent. Right. How you think you gonna get it from me? Hey, can I please? Right. Steal your phone. Right. No. He's gonna stop giving. Look at that. Y'all might have a fight. Right. I'm all right. Yeah. 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 You see? Yeah. He started to think he's gonna give it to your house. Yeah. No. But that's that. The Lord put that. He's gonna put that spirit in him to fight. He wants them to fight. You know, right. try to do something. Cause they gonna they gonna be shook up. It's like Pharaoh all the man. They shook up. Lord gonna put the spirit on you to change. Now come on, fight. Right, you say you're this big God, you're tough, huh? Yeah, it's really his father. The Holy Shout dies. Right? He's coming back to take the blessing. Right, look what you can do with it. Half and half and get on your ass. Right? That's what they take it from you. Alright? I remember Apostle Paul went into uh he said when Yahweh Shout was on earth, he talked. This time he ain't talking. He ain't come back talking. He ain't coming back trying to free ball with no free or nobody. He's talking right now. Yeah, he talking. Yeah, we say we the representative. Day of vengeance about power to comfort all that mourn. 
to our court, this is how we were comforted. So we were mourning. And we were just having the wicked are in power, right? We were mourning. So we were mourning, but now we are comforted, knowing that this man is going to be paid back. All right, you ain't just going to get free, nigga. No, you're, the things that your works follow you. <laughs> just like it says, when we, like the man of the Lord died, then your works follow you. Just right. like your works follow you. Your shit adding up. No matter what, what, wherever you go, whatever you do, right? Your works follow you. And the most out, it says, like I said, we'll fire down with past. All the things you done did, you're going to pay for it. Right? That's why you got to get experimented. Okay? You got to go. Because all the shit that you did in the garden, that's not going to happen. Right? Because that, that was the garden, you should have eaten. That was Jerusalem. That's what we should be celebrated again. And so and you, and you ain't going to be in that college no way now. Right? You're going to be up for, for a thousand years, right? To have a hardcore punishment. You're saying do unto them double people, right? Are right, you going to have power? But the president is going to be out of trouble with you, man. Look at that. The kingdom of heaven, that's heaven for the Israelites. Right? If you were hit the word heaven, they apply it to everybody. But no, heaven is associated with Israel. The kingdom of heaven, that's in the Bible. That's for us. All right, this is something that the Most High created for us to enjoy. And bro, once we get there, oh my God, I don't even know what I'm gonna do first. I don't know. Bro, we can think about the kingdom of heaven all day. This is what you have done. Right, right, right. All right, you keep fighting. Right. Okay? Man, you don't know everything you ever did in every life. You know what they did to you. My brother, or you, you don't, you don't know how. That's why these devils don't know. That's why they don't know. You don't put our angels, the most angels, put our his anger in us, all these devils, bro. But when these devils do, Captivity, captivity, how they did it and what they did to it. Any the other heathen nation, I don't get out of it either. Right. But he's always going to be that number one, he's that number one enemy, so he's going to get it for him. But we don't know everything for all these heathens and this, this, this devil, he saw what they did to it in lifetime, lifetime, like he's building them. Right. We don't know all that shit, bro. So imagine the anger we're going to be seeing, like, oh, that lifetime, that lifetime, that lifetime, that lifetime, how that devil was doing us. Bro, we're going to be, like you say, putting our foot upside, he saw ass. All day long, bro. Right, put it in the back, turn it sideways, turn it the other way. Right. Right? Three sixty. If I can add, like you said, too, with the other nations, too, because that's the Moab, man. You go to these, uh, like, uh, the buffets and shit. Right, right. Man, you know, they, they got all these different types of textures of chicken, man. Right. Different flavors. It's like, damn, bro, like, I didn't know that they had this texture of chicken. I, I didn't know. Right. What is this, dark meat? What, what, what kind of meat? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a See, but you never know what you just Yeah, man. yeah. Hey, that's man, that's the thing because brothers had posted uh hey, I think you had posted one where, where it went into they recycled uh it was one, they recycled garbage, man. Man, I saw that. They recycled garbage, man. Uh, like the meat, old meat they get from the garbage there, they are recycled it. Clean it, put season on it. Yeah. Yeah. See, hey, this is amazing. Hey, we're gonna know all these things in the kingdom, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah bro. I don't pay for that shit, right? I already already did Jacob that beat that shit. I think, I think, I think, mainly, they're, they're, they people will be able to actually come with that shit, but they right. eat that shit, you fucking, you know what I'm saying? Going up and shit. Right, right. Kind of, you said, yeah, that was, because what it showed was it happened there. What I'm saying is the mentality yeah, the of mentality, these, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, right, 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 right. the way that they, they do things. Right. See, hey, they, like I said, these buffets, they ain't just eating no chicken, <laughs> that ain't chicken, man. That's not chicken, man. Yeah. Hey, dog, oh. cat, hey. You know, squirrel, hey, whatever you name, possum. Hey. See, come on, man. Yeah, hey, 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 I would not be surprised. Yeah, you know what right, I'm right, I would be surprised. Right. Not to tell you on that. Come on, this is uh, Isaiah 61 and 3. It says, to appoint it to them that mourn in Zion, to give unto them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness that they might be called trees of righteousness, the planting of the Lord, Yahweh Shimei Oshan, that he might be glorified. All right, so the Lord going to be glorified within us. Like Isaiah 14 said, the trees shall rejoice. Men are like another tree. You look to be rejoicing. See going on? It says, uh, verse 4, it says, that they shall fill the old waste 
they shall raise up the former desolations, and they shall repair the waste cities, the desolations of many generations. Right. Because you go to the land of Israel, the land of Israel is going to be destroyed. Right? The people that's ruling over there right now, those not the, those not the true people. And that land is the foul heaven. All right? So America ain't the land of Israel going to be destroyed. That's, that's Bible prophecy. Right? All right? And it's going to be built back up. Well, who do you think going to build it? It said, it said that we that we going to build it with. It's, it's, it's saying we're going we to build it, but it's going to be through our slaves. Right? We ain't going to be touching the goddamn thing. You know what I'm saying? We're going to be sitting back and watching them build it. We, hey, bro, we've been building shit, you know, the whole entire time we've been in captivity. Right. Wait, then we're going to get an argument in here. No, it was, we got y'all for it. We're going to get to work. Right? Right? Especially Esau. He's like, we're going to make all the nations going to work. But his ass is going to work hard. Because we got we, we to milk his ass. We don't know if we have for a thousand years. All right? So we got to take advantage of Esau either. All right? <laughs> bro, you're going to have to do everything for this nation. We ain't got a thousand years. It's going to be a long time. Men shall call you the ministers of our power. You 
shall eat the riches of the Gentiles. Yeah, right. Right, so I got, I got a question. Why are we going to be rich in a minute? Any brother know? Why are we going to be rich? I said, in a minute. I said, it's in the Bible. I'm going to be up on the other one. That's true. But another reason, too. It's that we're going to minister. I'm going to teach the nation. Right. That's it. That's it. Oh, wow. 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 Wow.